okay so cypress is providing as a feature to drive the data from external sources so if you place your data in fixtures folder cypress will automatically have a knowledge on that and it will talk to all your json files which are present in your fixtures folder and it will interact with that and load it in your test okay now there is example.json which is already written in the fixtures this is just created for us just to understand how to um, write a json file here okay so let's remove this and now name is bob right so i am actually writing that name in my fixtures folder in the example.json it's up to you that you can create any json name so by default they have given as example.json and i am writing it there but you can write your json name as any next is gender gender okay so basically for every test you can come up with one json file like this let's say you have some 10 test cases which you want to drive the data from fixture folder then you can just create 10 json files under this fixtures so cypress is suggesting us to have one json file for test data uh, for one specific test case and you can load all that test data in json file and put it in fixture folder and then call it into your test okay so that's what they were suggesting us okay so right now at this point we have name and gender but don't worry once we progress in our test scenario we will use this example.json to bring out so much of test data but for now but this lecture we do have only two options to drive the data so let me go back close others so many tabs are open right So how do you call that test fixture into your test now? Okay, you went to that folder and you gave name and gender. So remember that you have to give that in the JSON format. So JSON format is nothing but key value pair and key value will be separated by one single colon and both should be in double quotes. Okay, that's it. And now if you call this key, automatically this value should be retrieved from your test. So all the fixtures loading is recommended to write in before hook. Okay, that should not be um, overlapped with your test. Your test should only talk about what to automate, but do not worry about how to get data from external files. All that setup related work should be done as part of your before hook. So Cypress is providing us a method called cy dot fixture. So this method will help you to, to talk with the files present in fixture folder. Look at here, fixture path and string. So path automatically Cypress sets to this folder. You need not write any path. But in that path, whatever file name you are using, that you want to declare here. So right now we were using a file name called example. So that is the file name, right? Example.json. So you need to write like this so that Cypress will first go to the fixture folder when you see this method and it will search for file name called example. Right. So it will get hold on this entire file with this step. So once you are have got the control, again, you need to resolve the promise. Because you need to access the files present inside this example.json. So right now you got a JSON file from us. And now we will first resolve the promise and then get access to that. Then function, let's say data. So that basically this file returns promise and it resolves that and stores the complete information in the data object perfect now 
this data is declared and it is available only in this block okay the scope of this data variable is restricted to only to the specific block isn't it you cannot access this data once you come out of this loop okay the loop started here and ended here right now this data you need in your test case you need it everywhere here here because now this data have access to this example date json file and using this variable we will pull all the values okay and do remember that you have to resolve the promise to access the uh, value which fixture returns. You cannot just return it directly. Okay, for that you can read their official documentation. They were clearly telling to resolve the data for your fixture. Okay, now we encountered one problem that I want to use data here. Basically, whole file is represented with data variable and if you want to uh, get name out of that file which we declared here you can simply say data dot name that's it so it will pull up that name from example dot json using that data object because data object in that specific data object whole json is stored now so you can simply call with that data dot name but problem here is you cannot access this data outside, right? That's the problem. So for that specific reason, if you point any variable with this, this keyword refers to this whole class. Okay, so when I say this dot data, that means one variable is initialized called data and the scope of this variable is this in entire class when you use that with the, this keyword okay that's the concept of this just google like what is this keyword and this concept is same in java javascript and python so this will have an access to entire class okay so when you say this dot data this is entirely new variable and it is available everywhere so now we carefully take the data what we got from this fixture and we will assign that data to the data which is available to globally okay this is another variable this is another variable don't confuse we, i'm just telling that this variable cannot access outside that's the reason i have initialized one global variable where the access is everywhere and if you want to make that variable global if you refer it with this dot this will have access to complete class so i am carefully copying the data whatever i need from my local to variable so that this data i can access now everywhere so that's the concept that is how we were driving so all this related setup we were putting in before method so our test case is untouched we can simply call with data dot name but do remember that when you say data your cypress confuses you have to clearly tell that it's a global variable so that it will properly access this data. So this dot data is now having the entire JSON file after this allocation. And from this dot data, now when you say name, Bob will be retrieved and it will place here. Okay. Similarly, let's remove female as well. And now female also we declared as gender, right? So you need to call gender key value now. So this dot data dot what's that gender perfect so if you place this and you can replace now with this your actual data so when this test compiles when you actually give this dot data it takes the data from your fixture file and then allocate it here so this is how you need to achieve data driving using fixture method this is important okay this simple method by declaring that file name cypress is taking care of headache of pulling that json file and giving it to us okay all right so let me run this test i will save the project and your execution will start automatically look at here it's very quick it entered bob and female 
but this time we did not declare any bob or female here the data what we got is from json file and this is how you data type okay keeping this in mind you can add multiple test data here and you can drive it into your test case with the concept of this so don't worry we will actually drive few more data from json file and i will also show some complex scenarios of driving the data which you will eventually learn in our coming lectures okay thank you